Yo. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Clear the Hay. Yeah, we're back for another one. We're back for another episode. Last one was really good. The last one was Re- freaking really proud fantastic. of that one. And so today, I think today though, is gonna just oh blow it out of all proportion. <laughs> it, you know, I didn't think that we could top that. I didn't think so I either. Have high hopes for this. I do have high hopes because I really do. Today we have Lizzie Wiseman here. What Lizzie up? Wiseman, what's hey! up? <laughs> Coming into the room. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. See, we're off to a strong start yeah. already. I love What's that. What's up? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Now I feel like a lot of pressure. I hope I don't let you guys oh, down, man. man. No, you know what see, pressure creates? Thing. Diamonds. So exactly. don't even sweat. Ooh, that's right. I'm a diamond sure. in the rough. Look, we're starting strong. We're starting strong. <laughs> we already got blah, 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 out of the way. We got exactly. push. Like exactly. uh, bomb drop and everything. We're, we're, everything. we're good to go. We're rolling. Now we're just going to create whatever comes yeah. to mind. Um, yes. Lizzie. Yes. Introduce yourself. Okay. I know we got it very excited for we you. Did. We did. Okay. But why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lizzie. Yeah. Uh, no, I, my name is Lizzie, and I'm from Los Angeles. Yeah. Yes. Born and raised. Yeah. I'm a unicorn. Hey. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, and I'm a stand-up comedian here in Los Angeles. So okay. Our I'm first, right. our first stand-up comedian on the podcast. Yes. Yeah. Welcome. Well, thank so, you. I'm excited to be here. No, you're officially an OG. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah that's as, right. That's the first. It's like, oh, yeah, hey. you are, right? Technically. What have you done? <laughs> I was the first one to do it. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, n- the next comedian we have on is going to be like, but I wasn't, was I as good as Lizzie? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So you know that's exactly. what they're going to say. I'm setting exactly. the bar. I'm setting, setting the standard. The bar, yeah. like the, I wonder if a comedian does that. It's like, hey, was I as good as the the, good, the other guys that are really good? Or uh, I, mean, ye, I mean, we're always in our head. You th- <laughs> like, I, uh, yeah, and I feel like that's the right place to ask. Like someone who you just interviewed or something. Exactly. Like, hey, how am I doing? You know, and it's 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 not bad to ask people. You know, it's like, hey, how how's my performance in this world? I think that's such an interesting concept. So before you get on mm-hmm. stage, you have this just bubbling anxiety, and you're like, oh, oh, or you're just like, I mean, the vodka Red Bull helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. I like to perform. Um, I like share. I'm, I've always had the problem of sharing too much information. Yeah. And my friends always tell me, please, we don't want to hear it. I said, well, if you don't, I'll put a mic in front of my hand, mouth, and something. I don't know. Maybe somebody I'll, put, I'll, put a, I'll put a mic in my you hand know? and I'll get up there and say what my thoughts are. Yeah. And it's been going well. So I'm stoked about that. That's so awesome. awesome. Yeah. I love it. We actually, um, me and Lizzie met at this party. Uh, it was it was someone's birthday party. Yeah, that was an interesting night. That was an interesting <laughs> night. Yeah. I, I, I felt, I, you know... Uh, it's weird, and we'll talk about it in a second because I want to focus on you. For, but we're gonna talk about it because it was strange. I heard, man. Yeah. I told I him the stories that I saw and the mm-hmm. things that yeah. I experienced, and I was like, I don't know what the vibe is like here. I just can't figure it out. You know? I wasn't sure if it was like a weird sex party. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know? yeah, I know. <laughs> that was my thinking the whole, and I told him that before I went, and then I was just like, I came back, and I was like, I got, I saw a lot of innuendos, and I heard a couple conversations that were weird. But I was just like, you know, there was a dungeon there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, like, you you digging, know. you would have found. Oh it. yeah, for yeah. sure. And, and, and it was it. such a big like house in, in the middle of this Sherman Oaks that wasn't even like those big houses. It was the only yeah. big house on the lot. Like, you know was, whose house that was? Whose was it? You know whose house that was? No, I just. I, I sh- mean, I don't think he's gonna listen. I, I mean, maybe and then it'd be great. Yeah. Should I not say? Should I not say? Should we just keep it mysterious? Well, let's keep it mysterious. We can keep, keep it mysterious. It, let's keep it mysterious. Just it we mysterious. don't want to get sued. Okay, but, well, yeah. I, we won't get sued, but I'll just say he was the co-creator of a very popular show. Oh, very popular wow. show, and wow. so that's why that house was like that, and that party was like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, tight. well, yeah. you'll have to tell me who it yeah, is. Off I will. The, I will. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the air. Well, you know, totally. And then, and our listeners are gonna be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you kept that from us." Calm down. Calm down. Exactly. It's Sometimes like, a donate mystery. to our Patreon. We'll tell you mm-hmm. for. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, it, we'll we'll put it in a time capsule, and in 10, 20 years, you guys can find out who's house. Or like it was. make a secret maze on the internet for them to find to Ooh. unlock this podcast episode. National and then the whole the, episode, well, just the episode, but with the secret things. Oh. Like maybe we'll have more secrets. Ooh. People like mystery yes. though. They do. You know, you know when I was a kid. Grown ups would always tell me, it's like, oh, you know how you can get a girl to like you? And I was like, how? And they would say, just add a little mystery to you. You start wearing a cape. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and now that I say it out loud, it sounds hilarious because all I'm thinking is just, I'm going to go go up to a girl and they go, what's your name? And I go, mm, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you find that, like, I've heard 
on the other end, like as a woman, I should create a little mystery because yeah. then the men stay interested longer. You know what mm. I mean? But I think I think it's, uh, it's, it's play. It's just back yeah, and forth. It's one of those like you know? uh, I don't know. I, if I feel like I'm just gonna get whatever I want whenever I want on a command, you're just basically a genie. Right or you know. easy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. So you're like yeah. snap my I'm fingers. To be you PC. better have that. It's 2018. Sandwich. I don't know if I could still say uh, that. Fuck being PC. Like, okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Listen, yeah. I, I don't I, want slut shame. Oh, listen. As a comedian, like, what am I going to sit up here and be like? I can't say this. I can't say that. That's I, you true. know, yeah. And that's gonna that's changing the way of our culture completely. It but is. also the way people are sharing their art and performing, and they're feeling censored. Yeah. What is this like communist Russia? Almost yeah, a little almost. bit. Like we're being censored yeah. and feels, filtered. We're on the way. And and yeah. the crazy thing is, people people hate Russia, and they're like, oh my god, Russia has hacked us and done all this. But it's like. Guys, we've been turning into them for the longest time. Like yeah, we, yeah. some of the stuff we the do. The writing's on the wall. The right, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. It's just it, you're seeing so many mirrors to other things. First of all, to things that have happened before. You know, it's like people always say history repeats itself. Duh. Because yeah. We're yeah. not smart you enough don't to learn. say exactly. You're not smart enough to go. Let's move on. Let's do something better than this. It's, you're stuck in your old ways. That's the that's the only my only problem with uh with like yeah. government and politics is you get stuck and you, you never. Think of progressing forward. And that's to, like, why people voted for Trump because yeah. he did something different. <sighs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not I mean, a Trump supporter. Disclaimer. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yes, don't get me wrong. Yes. What he has done is just changed up the narrative. He just said, "Boom, let me throw a couple C4s in there." Boom, boom, yeah. and it's like people are like, "Shit, never, never." It's different. Like, whoa, yeah, whoa. and I think that's why so there's so much speculation around that? it. Yeah, whoa, he said that. It really, it, exactly. Yeah. Really, it came from him lingering around because people wanted to see what he was going to say next. And then it turned into, holy shit, it's like the last debate and he's still here. Exactly. Uh, is he- <laughs> <laughs> it, why are you still here? It literally was the greatest reality show competition it was. It and was. that Hillary could have Clinton, ever been. When Hillary Clinton started getting memed, I was dead. Oh, man. It was just her it reactions to, to shit and then people would be like, the balloon setting off at the debate. Like, over. ah! And I it's was just like, just our culture. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah, like it's so yeah. weird. But 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 I think I think the thing about Hillary Clinton was so many people just there was just too much covering around her, too much controversy that people were just like, I just don't trust you, and that was their biggest thing. And so they were just like, I guess I got to vote for the other guy, <laughs> the guy who was in an vote. episode of Sex in the City. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> and know. it's just like. They you talk they, about they the went, guy they, that was in Mary Kay and Ashley's New York this, Minute. This is, yes. This, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is what I think happened. Classic cinema. This is what I think happened. Hillary Clinton was all politics, right? She'd been doing it for like 30 plus years. Uh-huh. So people know politics, corruption, yeah. and conspiracy, and all these things. And then you get new guy who's a reality TV star. Maybe he'll do something different. So long 30 story years short. Of, of corrupt. You know, it's like you don't want you you don't trust that anymore. So you wanted to try something new. His campaign manager was is the real genius because he was like, "Look, man, you can't. You That's don't true. have the swag that Barry had. Okay, That's true. like simple as that. No one does. So." Mm-hmm. You're going to have to go the other way. You can't go back to old school 80s, 90s politics because that's not what people do anymore. No, exactly. it's such a different. I can't keep up with the times. You I'm can. like, I'm stuck in my ways. My parents are older. Like, yeah, I'm just a little old school and, and, and I'm stuck in my ways. I it's hard for it's me to weird. get on board with. Like, I only do Instagram and Facebook. I still do Facebook. Yes, I'm an older millennial, yeah, you know, yeah. but. I can't get on the Twitter. I don't know. It's, you should you should there. hop on Twitter because it's actually becoming more about informing people and less about the social aspects. And then just funny, funny jokes. It's more about catching since you can't. We all know you can't trust mainstream media anymore. I don't want to sound like. Yeah. You know, conspiracy. We're sitting here. There's like newspapers know. piled up around us. <laughs> We're, <laughs> We're all writing in like little, hats. yeah, like little yellow like legal pads, <laughs> yeah, exactly, posting like, things all over the walls. She said yeah. this last night. God. That connects <laughs> to the thing I was thinking about last week. Poor little string It's going to connect your house. one of these days. <laughs> you enter your house like a uh, Mission Impossible, going through all the strings. Like, Don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> and then speaking of Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible Fallout coming out June 24th. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right day, but I thought it'd be. Fun. Yeah, you can ask them for money now. After Hashtag just like, sponsor. <laughs> sponsorship. You know, I met Tom Cruise, and he's a he's an interesting guy to observe. Mm. He he lo- he like just soaks in like energy that these people just throw at him. Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's not, and he's he needs a shorter guy. So it's like yeah, you're getting a lot. <laughs> sponsorship Scientology yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? like, that'd right. be crazy just tell us all your deepest darkest secrets honestly yeah. I would just I would just want to talk to him I wouldn't even want to like 
push him into controversy, but I just want to talk to him, get to know what his story is really like, you know, on a personal level. So why would why would he tell you his entire real story on a personal level? I don't know. He won't. I don't know. But Unless I, you I, suck I, his guys, dick. Just oh, no. I would never do that. But it was just, I was a never, hypothetical. Like never. Like if someone was like, I have like five Justin Bieber, million never. dollars Justin for Bieber you. Justin Bieber told you to never say never, man. Justin, once <laughs> Justin true. Bieber said never say never, I was like, he's right. Yeah, it's true. I used to never say never. And now I'm just going to continue doing that because I don't believe in that. Yes. And yes. And. You ever do improv? Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. All the, I, I lived my life for like a year like that. Just yes. Anding everything. Really? Oh. How I ended up in out? prison. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but it was a great year. I re- I really had gotten to a great relationship. That's over. Yes. Oh. Single. Hey. Just in case anybody's listening. <laughs> Someone's um, gonna be listening and be like, mm. mm-hmm. she said she's how? I'm yeah, right exactly. Because you have to understand, there's also people who are looking for mature women. Like that when you're young, you're like, yeah, I have fun around, blah blah blah. But when you're older, you're like. I need someone who's smart, you know? I, I need someone who's intelligent and can hold a conversation longer than five seconds, you know? Is that what younger girls are like? I, th- I don't really hang out with younger girls <laughs> well, Younger days. girls are, are notoriously stupid. Not, oh not all of them. Not all of them. That, 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 don't I mean, get me wrong. Not, not like, all of them. Not like there's, literally there's in a, a literal sense, but like in a figurative sense where it's like, you know, you're kind of like naive a little bit still. You haven't had enough life experience to know. And that's the thing. Life when you're experience. Being finessed or life not. experience. Have you done yeah. enough have in a your lot life? of that. Yeah. That, yeah. Have yeah. you have you experienced it? Are you are you just sitting at home on your phone watching yes. other people do things? Or yeah. are you out there doing them? And that's the problem I have. That's why I can't keep up with the times because I really love engaging with people. Mm. Yeah. And just getting to know them. Like you're talking about talking to Tom Cruise on a personal level. Right. I need that. I thrive off of that. Me too. Mm-hmm. And just to sit at home and scroll and look at what other people are fabricating to be their most amazing lives ever. You know, yeah, it exactly. just keep it Everyone's real. Everyone's yeah. rich, you know. Everyone's rich. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah. I was dating this guy and he'd never yeah. ever wanted to talk about anything unless it was just happy all the time. Uh, and I was just like, you know, we could talk about this you know what happened to you in your childhood like we were just trying to get to know each other deeper yeah and he's just like i just want to be happy all the time i said then you're gonna live on the surface your whole life just well, surface yeah you know just basic base exactly Let's basic deep bro yeah man i know my yeah. friends are like don't go too deep and i'm like but that's how i like it yeah <laughs> <laughs> shit yeah <laughs> i mean oh that cracks me up look man don't Run away from your feelings. No. Guys, I used to be like that, man. I'm not going to lie. And it only gets you so far because eventually you're going to explode or you're going to break down or something's going to happen and you're going to have to face it all. So you might as well just get used to identifying the issue and directly facing it and addressing it. That way you and everyone around you can move on in a happy and healthy manner. You know, yes, you, you know, yeah. uh, reach. I, I love just, it. You know, I just want to help the guys out there. That's, That's true. Yeah. I no, love that. you're right. Because I, I used to like when I was a kid, I remember for like a period of time, I really just tried to just hold my shit in. And I was just like, block it off, block it off. Is that because you're like a man? There were air quotes with that. Um, no, you know, like if you're a man, <laughs> just to be. I, I, went, I went, I went through a really like intense breakup and I was just kind of like, I need to I need to just focus on myself and stop worrying about the world, you mm-hmm. know, because I used to just worry about like I used to just be Luigi and like, yo, I'm looking out for me first and then direct family, you know? Yeah. And then but then but then you start letting people in and then you're like, now I got to worry about these people and this and all right, this guy. And then all of a sudden, one people, of those people pleaser. Not yeah. necessarily just I'm, I'm saying like close. I only use mm. I, I, maybe 10 less than that. But they're, they're usually 10 people okay. is, is all I really like. If you're in that 10, I'm, I'm going to hit you up every once in a while and be like, just checking in. How's Luigi's top 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Luigi's top 10. Are you on the 10? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're about to be off the 10. I know. I tell me. people, it's like, you're moving down the list, man. Yeah. No, nah, that's terrible. <laughs> I don't do that. But, but these are just people I care about. Do you about. see what that's kind of friend it. you are? You're an <laughs> eight. You're an eight. eight. eight on the entire list. I'm going to release an article. It's you ever like heard of my The space? levels of friendship. <laughs> this is my life. My <laughs> life. Yeah. Uh, so fun. So wait. Okay. Who are you guys? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay, so I met you at this party, mm-hmm. but like I don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know anything no, about us. No, no, I, I just so, showed up. So I hit you up, and I was. Yeah. I, so this was the, literally the conversation. I was like, "Hey, Lizzie." She goes, "Yeah," and I go, "What do you do?" She's like, "Stand up comedy," and I was like, 
do you want to be on the podcast? I was like, <laughs> yep. like yeah. Uh, back to the yes ending. No, yeah. seriously. Uh, yeah. I mean, it worked out. No, it does. Well, like what you were saying when you're like, I'm going to stop caring. So like I have to date myself basically or like yeah. care, yeah. care about myself. That's okay to do. And like when you just say yes to things, you're opening yourself up to experiences, yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah. Like good oh, people. I totally, I was trying to remember the second mm-hmm. half of the story I was telling and you just brought me back to it. You're welcome. So when I was, when I was holding all those stuff in because of the breakup, because of all those situations, I stopped really caring about like anything because I just got to the point where I was like, can't control me, can't control the world. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And it's a weird age because you're just like what you, age? This was when I was like sixteen, fifteen. That's pretty young to like yeah. have a self awareness yeah, awakening woke moment for yourself. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I was I feel like I was very woke at a very young age because I think I was that's like, called puberty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. But but you know what I mean? It's like I had a lot of I had Boys like ex- I experienced a lot of different things that kind of propelled me to like thinking differently mm-hmm. you know like even even when i went to new york i w- we went to new york city like three years ago and when no when hamilton was still on when we went to go watch we watched hamilton right yeah we went to the last show. showing the last night uh on, in june lin-manuel's last performance we're watching it and the performance ends and i'm sitting there and i'm just like there needs to be more to this experience i need to pump this up so i just walked up on stage pretending what? to be a part of a family and they let me on. They were they were like, uh, what? The, uh, what what? Uh, how many are yeah, in the Fitzgerald notorious, group? Yeah. Notorious, what? You're notori- schemer. Like, <laughs> yeah. How the hell do you get? Yeah. You so, finagle your way into yeah. like all these. That's awesome. Good I, for no, you. No, I really. I'm I'm just really good at talking. Well, if you like act like you're supposed to be somewhere, it's like exactly. even walking just into a club. Exactly. You know, I'm just confident. When's I think, the last time the, I went the to guy, a club? The guy, the guy was like, <laughs> the guy at the at the at the door was like a big bouncer, and he goes, um, how many are you in your group? And he goes. Five or six, the dude, and he goes, okay, what's the, na- the name? And he goes, Fitzgerald. And they go, all right, one, two, three. And then I was the fifth person. Shut up. And, I, and then the guy goes, five or six. So he didn't, the guy didn't know. Mm-hmm. So I go up, and I just look back. And then there's another dude. He goes, I'm a Fitzgerald. And he goes, what are you talking about? They're already up. And I was just like, oh, snap. Like, oh, shit. I almost got caught up. <laughs> Met the whole cast. Got all the <gasps> signatures. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't take any pictures with anybody because I just wanted to. You were living in the moment. I was living in the yeah. moment. Mm-hmm. And I did a, I did a quick snap because I wanted people to know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fucking stage. Yeah. But yeah. other than, and I got to watch them do one of the Grammy shots coolest thing they That's did they so did a cool. shot out of the grammy and it was like a big viral thing they were doing and i watched it live and i was like with the with uh rita from parks and rec um, uh the, oh you, uh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, she plays donna she plays donna on parks and rec she's like the sassy black yeah Retta. Retta, Retta, Retta. yeah yeah that's what her name is yeah, yeah. you know who i'm she's talking? the one who does Treat yourself with treat yourself, which is also another life motto of mine. Yeah, I mean, I you should. Agree with that. You really well, should. Full force, like, listen, you you could literally die any moment. Yeah. So, like, why would you deprive yourself? Like, eh, I don't deserve it today. I'll do it next, like next week or something. Like, yeah. Why, what? Eh. What? I don't know. It's called smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um. Back, back to what I was saying, I, I think that experience like yeah. triggered something in me where I was just like, dude, I was able to just walk up in here and talk my way in, met all these cool people, yeah. experience yeah. all these really cool things. You screwed someone's uncle out of it, by the way. But. That's no, okay. He ended up, he yeah, ended, yeah, he ended yeah. up, Fuck he, that he, uncle. He, he ended up coming up. He ended up coming up. The guy, you know, it's not hard, people. He it's had not to hard. pull his ID out or something. Yeah. yeah. But that's it. Yeah. I mean, whatever. He still got up. Fitzgerald, are you sure? Yeah. You know? <laughs> He's like, what? And then and for, and for, <laughs> for a moment, the the only person I didn't get to meet was Lynn Manuel. Uh, and it was because he was just locked up in his freaking Oh, I'm room. sure. Of and, course. And Coach he was trying to grab a piece. He, was, sure, he yeah. was just he was just getting to the point of realizing like I'm no longer doing this and I have to now move on. Like that was my last show. He was he was basically just like enjoying the And moment. then write yeah. songs for Moana. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but but I overheard like I was one of the first people to find out he cut his hair. Like someone came down and they went, Lynn cut his hair and they go, What? And he goes, Oh, oh we had a Britney Spears moment. And, and I was there and I was like, Oh <laughs> wow. my God. And was then I was like gonna tweet about it, but then I was like, No, I don't wanna do that yeah. because you know what? I just wanna enjoy it. I Good really, for you. And, yeah. and I got um Leslie Odom Jr.'s parents to pray for me. Which was oh. really, really, really cool, and they were so sweet. I, I was there, and they were just talking to me, and I was just like, they were talking to me about how grateful they were that that you know he's been uh, blessed in his life, and I was just like, I was like, the Lord works in in mysterious ways, and they were like, yeah. are you religious? Um, I I I I, I this is I do you know this? The funny Are you thing religious? Is, you bring this up, 
I have religious backing, yeah, but yeah. I do have questions about I, things. That yeah, exactly. Like I still have questions for eternity, and you can't. I mean, I don't know. No one will ever give you a straight answer, so I choose to believe that there is a higher body that I personally feel, <laughs> but I choose not to put a name or anything on it like that. Because <laughs> all right, yeah. Once you get into all the details, it gets way too muddy for. It, yeah, it but like, what about like? <laughs> heaven and hell I, I i believe there is in a sense this is the way i thought about it i was like when i was a, this is what i thought of okay. when i was a kid i was at camp uh, no i was at a lock-in where we're at a church lock-in where they lock you <laughs> uh, i know yeah, yeah well yeah. now those are called lockdowns lock-downs. and those yes. happen at high schools constantly <laughs> okay. so no yeah. but um i had i had this i had this lock-in i remember we watched this movie and they talked about death and i was sitting there and i started to think about it and i we got so deep i know mm-hmm. this no, is what right? happens this is yeah this is that what was, happens when yeah. good conversation sparks yeah. <laughs> i love talking about like stuff like this but anyways i I started thinking about death as a kid and I was just like, this will eventually happen to me one day and I don't know anything about it, you know? And I did the research after that. I looked up some stuff, but at the end of the day, I, I realized that it's, it's something I haven't experienced yet. It's something that I will eventually experience. And then once I'm there, I'm just open to experiencing it. You know, okay. I'm just, I'm just open to seeing what it is and what happens, you know, because Nobody can answer that question because all the people that could tell you what that's like are gone. Well, some people say they've died and come back. Uh, but not full death. I not feel full like that. Yeah. Like, full de- <laughs> yeah, like yeah. exactly. Not it's full like death. not full death. Like yeah. you, yeah, you yeah, experience yeah. Like something, death. but you, yeah, yeah, you didn't experience death. Where it's like you're what you know. It's like yeah, nobody yeah. can tell you. So like, I lost my virginity, but I did anal. I like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like that's how you lost your virginity? Like, anal? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Dude, oh, no, it's like halfway. It's like you can't like. I know I'm gonna like die. shift gear. Oh, no, do go, I, yeah. Go I know. I was gonna say. Speaking of anal, no, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, I've noticed the younger generation is really all about that ass. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't understand that. They, they're, yeah, that's, all that's they, not I, for me. They're is like, it, I want to eat it. I want to touch it. I want to fuck it. No, no, and I love like, it. All I, that before the pussy, like all of it. Oh no, 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 no. no. That's. That's, now that's just a travesty. <laughs> no, I killed Luigi. No, that's no, fucking no, no. hilarious. Not they in do, my world, but do. I mean, I feel like we're I'm in the same general bracket as you. I mean, I don't. You might be able to speak better for the younger crowd, uh, Luigi. I, I think I think the younger crowd is they're focused on what they can see as far as like, oh look, it's big, it's bouncy. And it's all like almost like a yeah, but the thing. hole isn't. I know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. They're focused on the <laughs> Big hole. Big bouncy now. hole. They're, That'd they're, be terrible. Yeah, yeah like before Ugh. everyone like everyone like, but everyone liked ass. No, but oh, you're it, saying they not only meant specific? like the cheeks, man. Yeah. Not like now it's different. Now it's now like it's booty hole. Why are you yeah. guys like inside someone's rectum right now? Yeah. Get out of there. Like a, like a Ali Even Wong. Wong. Ali Wong. She said that she likes she likes her husband's butthole. Oh, oh yeah, 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 and she goes, yeah. I do it too. And then everybody was like, Oh no! It was yeah, hilarious. yeah, yeah. It was, I'll it was receive hilarious. it. I don't know if I'll give it. I, I have I, I think I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it is weird. I feel like it is weird for a dude. But then if you like really love somebody, like I don't know, that's yeah, what people I say. Know. Well, they, I mean, there is like this much skin between the vagina and the butthole. So. Yeah, that's different. You know, but like you guys are dudes. You've got like hairy like asshole. I don't yeah, know. I yeah, like, no, oh, no. Well, like, well, that's I agree that's, with I you. Like that's the same everybody. reason why I'm well, not gay. Everybody does. Do. Women do too as well. They really? just take care of it. Yeah. Women or if it's like and super blonde, you don't notice this it. why people think we're apes because we literally are hairy everywhere. You have hair yeah. on every part of your body except yeah. the palms of your hand and the palms of your feet. Some of it's just not super visible. Mm. Yeah. You know? Wow. And that's, on your eyeballs. What if your eyeballs. Someone needs to create something where it's like you can just like put some put some cream over the certain areas of like with hair that you want to protect mm-hmm. and then you go into like a pool or something and it almost just like cleans all the hair off except the stuff with the gel on you it. can literally do acid. that right <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking of acid and you will die <laughs> back to death see we brought it full circle but yeah. if you want to do that like in real life we could set up like some experiment, put it on YouTube, go viral or some shit. With well, a laser, the lava from Hawaii, the lava from yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, the lava from from Kilakoala is a. Do you know cool. the state fish of so, Hawaii? 
the huma like, huma nuka nuka puka puka abu abu. Yeah, like, close. Yeah. Huma huma nuka nuka apu a. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fun thing to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. Oh, oh I love that movie. Family. Or Hanuman's <laughs> family. Yeah. Family yeah, there it is. Nobody kept left behind or forgotten. Hey. Ooh, that's that. a super good stitch. Holy Thanks. Shit. That was a super good Why stitch. Why are they rebooting him, man? Yeah. They what should do they reboot. have against Stitch? I love Stitch. Stitch is my, my dog looks like Stitch. His eyes go to the side. He's like a chameleon crazy Boston Terrier. Oh, I, th- I think the re- I think the reason the really crazy ones. Yeah, really he's barking. like constantly <laughs> running around the house. <laughs> I like my coffee black. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Um, I don't know why they aren't rebooting Stitch. They they rebooted Roseanne and that didn't work out. So. No, hey, oh my god, poor Roseanne. Side. I mean, I've taken Ambien and all I did was eat. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in your sleep, <laughs> kind of. Or no, what I did was. One time in college, I mixed, I took Ambien, but then I got super high on nice. weed, mm. and that's how old I am on weed. And <laughs> for I, those of you who didn't know, it was, it's Kush. Kush. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I hallucinated a little bit because like you're so tired, but I was oh, forcing wow. myself to stay awake. Yeah, and I've never, I don't like hallucinogenics or hallucinogens, and I saw a knight and a little dragon like fighting on my Ooh. dresser. Oh, dang. But no, I didn't say anything racist when I was on Ambien. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I saw a hallucinogenic story that inspired yeah. me to be who I am today. Yeah. But no, like, I didn't say anything racist. <laughs> oh my god! I yeah, that. I mean, I don't know. That's a really poor excuse, honestly. That, that is a poor excuse. Don't blame like, it on your drugs. Like, it's no, like, come on, your drugs. Yeah. It's really? like you you chose to do that. So were you on you, Ambien yeah. like every instance of your racist moments? Well, right, because then that's like, the bigger problem. Like, oh wait, are you an addict? Also. Yeah. You know, like maybe yeah. we should, you know, it sucks what she said, but if someone's an addict, like they need help too, yeah. you know? So yeah. this is, this is, and this is what I, I think is very interesting. What if it would have flipped? What if people would have been like, yeah, that was funny. That was, she would have not have been like, oh, I'm not a racist. I'm not, I'm like, she, but she's still like that. Like, she's like still she's, like that. She That's shifted the, thing. the blame because like, her co-stars were like, we don't support what Roseanne said. And she's like, she literally like quote tweeted that and was like, wow, unreal. I know. And then like someone else was like, if Roseanne was a racist, blah, 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 we would have seen it by now. I and then like she quote tweets that and goes like, oh, yeah, it's like really unfortunate how they do. And like now she's all of a sudden the victim. And it's yeah, like, people well, are trying wait, to play the victim card. You on her. sent out the tweet regardless. Yeah. There's a million yeah. people on Ambien, but no one's sleep tweeting it's racist like racist things. jargon like, she's like you I said somebody like, when i sleep made a monkey. when i sleepwalk she's I like i'm just a sleep tweets. racist I'm she's like when i'm awake racist. i'm not racist <laughs> <laughs> i'm just a sleep racist maybe she's she's it's a sleepwalking like, racist maybe yeah. she well, gets on the internet and just tweets <laughs> racist things yeah she like thinks it's her robe but she puts on a kkk like, <laughs> 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 Takes her dog for a walk around the neighborhood, but she can't see, so she brings a torch. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, like, just kidding. Hey, I mean, shout it's out like, to Rose and yeah. Racist. Well, this is what I was gonna say. Like, it's hard when you grow up watching these people, like Roseanne, and I grew up watching the Cosby Show and all these things, and then you see a horrible and like the horrible things that they've done i can't watch the cosby show anymore i can't yeah. watch louis ck stand up anymore and it yeah. sucks because louis ck was a genius yeah. right? well, you know he like, was super fun. i was just thinking about that when you came before you came i was gonna ask you who your favorite comedian was and then i reflected wait, on my so own. What, what was, was he really like, doing uh, was he just like jerking it while people were walking in or no he was on the phone oh. jerking it. no i mean no, yes. not even that he oh, was, yeah. on the phone, oh, he but was he, talking that. to people while he he's also jerking jerk it? off in front of people but he'd ask he didn't think it was a big deal because he would ask for permission and these women would say um okay so he did it but what the underlying thing is it's a power play Mm. so he's a big comedian you know working in television as Mm -hmm. well and there are these women who want to be in comedy who are pursuing that working under him right and when he says hey like i'm not gonna you know i'm gonna touch you whatever whatever can you just watch me jerk off and what are you gonna say no because like, you feel the pressure, you know what I'm saying? You feel yeah. the pressure because if you say no, yeah. then he might fire you because yeah. you're going to tell people or yeah. whatever. No, I get that. And, then, and more than likely, that's really what's going to happen. Exactly. And then the, and then as that. a woman, you're just like, I don't want to ruin this career. And like, this is like a big shot. So you kind of go, OK. And then later sit there. I mean, unless it didn't happen to me, but you later sit there, I would think and be like, because like, I'm a woman, like weird shit's happened. You know, I've been like, yeah. 
I saw a guy jerking it on Hollywood Boulevard, just like in his car on no, the phone. We, like, I mean, we, just like we saw, we saw a guy outside. Oh my god, that quinceanera! Remember? Oh my goodness! Uh, oh, oh, that's yeah. a bad mix. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. driving yeah. by, and I was like, "Oh my god, is he?" Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. just terrible. But like things happen, and then me. later no, you sit back, you know, and maybe like maybe it's a few days later, or a week, or even a month, and you're like, "Wait, that was weird, right?" Yep. Yeah, that yeah. Made, so, wait, I don't think that should have happened. Yeah, yeah, and so. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Bosses in America, they got too much power. I'm curious. Oh, my God. Even my mom was like, back, I mean, older, like back in 50s, 60s. She's like, oh, my God, we got sexually harassed all the time. Like, yeah. you just really? knew. Yes. Like, all the, I'm sure they slapped other secretaries' asses oh, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I've seen it's secretary terrible. abuse it's terrible. firsthand. It's terrible. I watched a girl. So, I uh, here's a story time, kids. Story time. I used to work in Savannah where I went to college in mm-hmm. Savannah, Georgia. Uh, I went to a, an art school there, but I worked part time as a candy truck driver and I just went around to different places and refilled their vending machines. So yeah, like all day I drove this white, like creepy van with like, nothing but children's snacks and you're and like stuff. hey little kids i have candy <laughs> i have candy yeah, yeah. But no it was like full of soda snacks candy and uh <laughs> long story short like every single day this the head of the the head of the company i almost lost it there but you I, got I pulled it, you it, back it back in. i pulled it back, back in <laughs> i cast <laughs> the line the fishing line real <laughs> <in, laughs> you got it really you got it <laughs> I, I, I but thought. no, no. But every single day, the the boss ha- harassed this woman whose sole job in her job description was to stock the snacks okay. for the drivers. Every day, she was not there to stock the snacks. We had to stock our own snacks okay. because uh, <laughs> the boss always brought her to, and only her, even though there was a bunch of women okay. in the office, she was the pretty one. So she got taken Bitch. out and i know <laughs> she got sexually harassed over me because she's I can't prettier believe it. i can't i like that honestly that's something that probably would cross my and, mind one yeah, time oh, to probably. be like um i'm not hot enough to be touched inappropriately yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no because because not only that do you ever would you ever think it if if say you saw someone in a group like let's say there's a group of five women working under this one person and then there, he's like one of you hey we're gonna put you one of you guys on the show this girl gets chosen are you thinking, hmm, did she sleep with him? Does the thought cross your mind? I feel like, I don't know. I'm asking you as a woman. Well, before we do, we go there. We got to finish let me, the candy let me wrap story. It up. Candy so, story. The pedophile ring he's yeah, talking yeah, about? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so like, this, there's, there's all these vans. It's like, there's one yeah, lady, it's, it's and taken, she stocks real life. the candy. Real it's life like, taken. What? But no, no. She, real life taken. He took her to the golf course with him every day to just be, serve just him, him, I guess, and be. So around. she's like his arm candy. Yeah, from the candy truck. Yeah, get yeah, well, see what I did there. Oh. She's uh, literal candy. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she expressed many times that she hated it, but she didn't have any choice because it was like, hey, come with us to the golf course. And what are you gonna say? No. Like, well, that's the. It's the appeal. It's like, ooh, like golf course a golf course equals rich it also equals racist like you yeah. know or like you know certain yeah. things. But, but like my sister's likely. family the, my the, sister belongs to a country club and that's so not my style like yeah. i'm oh, yeah. not do i come off like a country club kind of gal did you infiltrate it yet well, i wouldn't mind personally i wouldn't mind hitting up a country club every it's once fine. in a while just to just to you know hang around different communities i guess, it's just not me i guess mm. but I said people are like, oh, what do? Would you ever join one? I said, oh, they let Jews in now. You know, <laughs> like, I'm Jewish. Yeah, yeah. So just, I don't know. It's yeah, I mean, hey, me. man, brothers in the same struggle. I know. That's why <laughs> we always get along. Oh, you know, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, his wrist is broken. Thumb, yeah. wrist, uh, hand slash wrist. Okay. When do you yeah. think it'll be off? My cast is off on the fifth. Oh, it's gonna smell so ripe. I know, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I cannot wait to scrub layers off. What'd you do? My arm's gonna be so skinny. How'd you? Uh, it's gonna be a skinny, skinny wrist. Yeah. You should like model that wrist for I a am. week. I am. Like, what happened? How How'd you break it? So, uh, long story short. We've, yeah, we've we've literally told every single person. Every this, single person, like on the podcast. Basically, yeah. yeah oh. Basically, just uh, here we'll tell it. I'll get. I'll tell it. See if I. I know we can well sum enough. it up since so, like other episodes. Crack, crackhead yeah. hit him. He hit him back. A crackhead for real hit you. His arm. When For I was real? in Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, Canada. I know it was crack. Cause <laughs> I saw it in his eye. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because there was residue in his hands. <laughs> no, he just straight up hit you. I know it was crack 
because people on heroin don't move that fast. That is very true. <laughs> they just like nod out and fall on top yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy on Hollywood what? Boulevard like a, four months ago. He was just on the ground and he was just, I was like, dude, you're doing something. Oh, yeah. He was just on the ground and he was like moving, like spazzing. Oh, shit. And he had a friend watching him the whole time. And I was like, what the heck? That's an episode and of Intervention. Two freaking cops just standing there watching it <gasps> as well. Oof. Ugh, because they're like, what? what are your drugs? Like, what are we going to exactly. do? What it's so sad. Do? I love the show Intervention. I've seen every episode. Yeah. I'm like, we used to want to be an interventionist. Maybe oh. at one point in my life. Is that a game? You have yeah. a I mean, problem. is that a game? Is that a game? Is that a game? Is that a real job? It is a real job. You can be an interventionist or work with people with drug addiction. And it's so funny because I'm so intrigued by it and interested by it. And a lot of yeah. men who come at me are drug addicts. Interesting. Oh. I wonder if I have that, like, energy yeah, yeah, where they want to... Like, get help by me uh, this girl can trust i can trust this yeah girl. yeah it's a little bit and what you were saying earlier before the podcast started yeah. about or maybe you said about giving on it about giving your energy to people yeah, yeah, you yeah. said that mm -hmm. i went to bali yeah. and i met with like a spiritual guide very white of me <laughs> and he said you give a hundred percent of yourself to other people but you need to give 80 to other people and save 20 per, for yourself really yeah and he like got that energy from me didn't know anything about me oh, and he was so right oh, wow. it's so and true. recently like as i'm getting older uh, my birthday's on friday what? Yeah, turn up turn yeah up. i'm just start like i'm in my 30s and you just kind of start being like i don't give a fuck yeah. <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> you know like i don't give a fuck yeah, yeah. i mean i kind of feel that way now and i'm 29 maybe it's you're because 29? i'm entering yeah you're almost you're almost there I'm you're like on the cusp i'm going through i don't give a fuck puberty mm -hmm, totally <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do, I do believe in that there's different stages in life that totally you kind of like grow up and like w wake up in a sense of yeah like what your your new reality is you know yeah. and i do um, i agree with that wholeheartedly because as i'm approaching my birthday and i've been doing comedy for like you know four years but like I went hard at it for a year and then I don't know, you get in your own way sometimes, your head or whatever. Yeah. I've reached the point now of like not giving a fuck and being like, dude, I'm good. Like yeah. whatever. Like walk in, just be like, I got this and push yourself, push myself a little harder, you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you, so you said you went hard for a year? Yes. Yeah, so like I quit my job. Okay. I was a preschool teacher. Interesting. If you come here, my set and half the things I've been saying now, you're like, you taught children, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so we've talked about uh, vaginas. Uh, no, I'm just anal yeah. bleaching. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> uh, I was a preschool teacher and I just got a lot of really positive feedback when I started doing stand up and I said, fuck it. And I quit and I went really hard for a year and saw growth and started booking more gigs. And I did Vegas and San Diego and Los Angeles and just started doing more and like going on auditions and stuff. But then I was broke. Yeah. Uh, I was a nanny and it was a great job and the family was amazing. But I was just like not, I was like in my 30s and I just, I grew up with my parents who are old school, like my dad's 82 and growing up and being like, I'm just going to do gig work, which is our generation stuff. Yeah. It didn't fly with me internally also because I have that voice from my parents being like, you need a career job, you know? Yeah, something yeah. that's still going to pay the bills. Yes. Until yeah. the other thing starts paying the yes. bills. Yes. So my dad is a music producer. He produces black gospel music. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. See, Jews and blacks always. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, sticking together. he's like, I always had a job. He was a salesman. He's like, I always had a job. And then I'd come home and do that. Yeah. And so I am now, I have a job as a, I don't really want to say, cause if anyone's listening, uh, but I work in higher education. Tight. Oh, yeah. So you, you're working in high school now? Uh, kind of, yeah. That's cool. Like I work with high school students, yeah. And it sounds like you're going to be a good person to mentor these kids. Thanks. Honestly. Yeah, I, it's just funny because it's like there's that part of me who's like, let's heal the world together, <laughs> you know, and just yeah. be that people people call me hippie hood mm -hmm. like you know what i mean like yeah. a little part hippie where yeah. i have that and i'm a little part hood like gangster like let's get on the stage and slay the fucking yeah. thing you, you, know? Know you, know, you know what's hilarious though how how cool of a teacher are you to be to be somewhere like if i had a teacher in high school that was like i i'm teaching math here but i do stand-up comedy on the side people are gonna be like what like you're yeah. the coolest person now yeah. what do the rest right. of these guys do <sighs> i'm working on my laboratory like, get out. yeah no, 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 get out i'm working on my screenplay <laughs> it's like all right yeah it's like everybody's got something they do on their off time most yes. of them just sleep or eat or hang yeah. out with friends but i like all of those too yeah, those are all great Go things soccer but practice. soccer practice that's true. Soccer, I had a teacher. Oh, yeah. who, I had a I was teacher. Like, you who play used to play soccer. Uh, <laughs> no. I, th I think he played us. He played basketball on the side, like just, just like 
competitively. Yeah, I played kickball in a league. On the was side. he a PE teacher? I think so. I think he played soccer on the side in a league. I don't remember. Are you really? What are you teaching? PE? Like a PE? PE, Yeah. I know a PE teacher. You're teaching. I would. I I wanted to be a PE teacher. Did you? For for like a slight second, just because they just play games all day. And I was just like, that shit sounds fun. Yeah. I mean, you have to wear the shorts, though. Yeah, Yeah, the shorts shorts. were so short. And a whistle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind. And a visor. And a visor. Yeah. Mm. And then you gotta have a like a, you have to get buff too because if you're if you're a fat gym teacher you're just a hypocrite totally yeah, you're just yeah, sitting yeah. there saying like, get get you skinny and you're just eating chips ah I love chips that's weird like I had a personal trainer once and he wasn't the fittest really yeah but I kept going to him mm. and then it, we slept were, together you were, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say <laughs> were you attracted to this man <laughs> See, it worked oh, that was so it LA out. it was yeah. so, for a year we slept together and I was like what am I paying for <laughs> yeah it should be this, free the, I know. He was like, this is your cardio session. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are really in it. And he's saying stuff like that. You're LA douche. Oh, yeah. It was like a Love. year. But we never became anything. But so funny. You were like, if I was a kid and you were my teacher, I'd be like, that's so cool. Yeah. I have a hard time, like, with dating, telling men that I do stand up from the beginning. Really? Why? I've. That's why I'm like 33. I'm like, own it now. But, like, when I've told... I don't put it on my dating profiles because I felt like I was not getting as many matches, mm. which is so silly and I should just own it. But then if I tell guys, they're super intrigued by that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then, so like my last boyfriend, he's like, I love that you're a comic. Then when shit kind of got real and I let that layer, you know, he got to know a little more of me and see me sad or depressed or anxious or whatever. He yeah. said, what's up? I thought comedians were supposed to be like fun and happy all the time. Uh, and I what? was like, you don't know comedians. My yeah. Friend. I was like, um, RIP Robin Williams. I and know, like right? almost yeah. anybody else. RIP Chris Farley. Yeah, exactly. Uh, honestly, RIP any comedian who really passed. Yeah. Away, Cause they all suffered through some form of depression or totally. Something. Or and sometimes yeah. substance abuse substance or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and all of those are just because you just weigh so heavily on yourself and there's not a, a balance, you know, well, we, you're we, so low. You try and find anything that can get you back up that high. Mm-hmm. And uh, the only two things can do it. Audience applause and, drugs you know, you know <laughs> yeah. and, and you know what you know what it really all it takes is just being really fucking good like jerry seinfeld's been doing this shit forever and look at him he still goes out there he still mm-hmm. gets the same amount of applause he was getting back then if not yeah. more like yeah. this he's been doing it so long because so he, long. He, he figured out his thing and yeah. he he saw the market and was like what's I the deal yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you asked me who my favorite comedian is you know who i really love that's who? no longer living R.I.P. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. I had the pleasure, the ultimate pleasure of meeting her at her last taping of Fashion Police. I met her. She came out, talked to the whole audience. Wow. My friend introduced me. This was like a year into my comedy or two years. I don't know. She's like, this is my friend Lizzie. She's a comedian. And Joan just like put her arm around me, gave me advice. She always said like, try a joke three times. And if on the third time it's not really working, fucking drop it. Yeah, she's like rework it or drop it, you know, and can't force it. Yeah, and she's like, you just keep going. She goes, every person that I've ever that I know who's successful is because they didn't stop. Mm-hmm. Mm. She's like, they never, and she was just so amazing. Then, like two days later, she went into a coma at the hospital, and yeah, two days later, <laughs> what? That's yes, crazy. and so I was like, it was an omen. Yeah. It was a Heck sign. Yes. yes, and just besides that experience I have with her. She's a ballsy ass lady. I yeah. love her. She yeah. says what she thinks. Well, that, the red carpets are not the same without her. I was no. Like, oh God, no. It was so much fun watching her just be like roast, roast session all mm-hmm. the time. Roast sesh. Um, let's just get, let's just get you up there now. And roast. I'm not a good. You know what? That's what's hard for me. My friend. He's like, let's do a roast battle at the comedy store. Yeah. I'm not there yet because I just don't want to be mean <laughs> to my friend. <laughs> like I like my friends. I don't want to be mean. You know? Yeah. Do you think that changes the dynamic? Like, oh, I thought we were friends, man. You just said so many mean things about it. Now I know you're looking at me to say mean things in the future. I keep saying to him because he keeps asking. I go, you just have shit that you really want to say to me that yeah. you're like too afraid. That, so you need to do it on stage. Like, if you want to make fun of me, make fun of me in my face yeah, right now, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, like a regular friend. Like, I don't yeah. want everyone to laugh with you. I just want us to laugh. Yeah. Or if you have a problem with me, then say it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, so no roast battles in the future. No, I wouldn't no, say. No, I mean, she's, she's saying that she's right now, not ready yet. Right, right now, right now, right now. Well, in the immediate, in the immediate future. Yeah. So, what do you? What is your? 
like what is your current set mostly about Mm, my current set is mostly about like being jewish and dating um how's being a few holocaust jokes really yeah a few yeah. The Jewish experience. The Jewish yeah. experience. From, yeah. From the um, back, back then to now. Yeah. I mean, I'm working on some, mostly like, I've had some crazy stories happen to me, just mm-hmm. like travel wise and dating. And I'm just, I'm working on some new stuff. So travel wise, like yeah. you try to go to a, a European nation and. Well, know, like, like I'd love to travel. And mm-hmm. so I'm trying to think of, Same. look back and find all the experiences I've had traveling. Like I went to Africa and best time of my life. And I ended up meeting a guy and sleeping with him. Oh, really? Yes. But he was a white Jewish kid from Nairobi. It's like, I what? can't even find a fucking Jew here uh, in LA. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have and to so, go all the way to Africa totally. to find a Jew. Yeah, like, so I, I go, I fucked a Jew down in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. But yeah, I don't oh, know how that shit. happened. But I mean, what are the odds? I mean, I know, right? how many Jews? One are in six in... million. <laughs> I'm just yeah, kidding. I guess so. Nairobi Jew, shout right? out to y'all. How um have you have you only what how many continents have you visited? I'm curious. Oh my god, because you said Africa. And most people who go to Africa have been to many other continents. Yeah. So seven, right? Yeah, there's seven continents. I've been to, I've been more like so like north. I've been to Canada. So like North. I'm trying to think. Well, you live in North America, right? Central America. Central so America is not a thing. doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Why not? No, because it's... I count it because it's international. You need a passport. To get to Central America? Or Canada. You do need what a passport. What is Central America? Just like Mexico, Panama. Panama, Costa Rica, Costa Rica. Guatemala. Guatemala. Belize. Yeah. Honduras. Belize. Yeah. Okay, never mind. They're, they're, so the I guess we have ones. eight continents now. No, no, no. Let's just say we have gone international. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Panama, Costa Rica, England. I did all over Europe um, for like a little tour. Kenya, I went to Bali, and I had like a layover in Tokyo and Singapore, which is pretty cool. Did you explore Tokyo at all? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm not going to sit in the airport for no. 11 hours. Hell no. Oh, 11 hours? Heck, oh, yeah. to the freaking, I'm going to go out, ball yeah. out of Tokyo for a I planned that perfectly. I was like, all right, if I'm going to have a layover, yeah. why not? I hustled. So it's a train ride that's an hour Ooh. from the airport to the center, it's and crazy. I went to the center, and I like booked it and i went to harajuku area yeah. and i went and saw meji shrine wow. and then i went to an owl cafe and then what? i ate food and then i went back Dude. wait explain this <laughs> owl cafe you can't just brush by that it's like owl cafe. you know like it's cat a, cafes yeah that's here in la now and yeah dog cafes so they yeah, have yeah. owl cafes wow. and they were fucking, it was like david bowie owls and there were just so little you barn just owls stare at them or you can like you can pet them. them yeah what? Yeah, I gotta go to Tokyo. They're very light, a actually. Bunch of headwigs. Yo, Tokyo yeah. sounds like it's super nice. futuristic. They have hedgehog man. cafes. They have a fox somewhere like out far out. They have a fox uh, sanctuary. The fox question. One. How yes. long ago did you go to Tokyo? So I went to Bali like two years ago. So okay, it was like so two, years so about ago. two years. What was the poverty situation like over there? It's pretty bad. Really? Like people think In Tokyo. Oh, Tokyo or Bali? Sorry, Tokyo. Wow. Oops. Uh, uh, <laughs> poverty well, to- in Tokyo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, curious. I wasn't there long enough. To, to really experience yeah, yeah. now really? okay because because so, yeah, i know tokyo is all very like they're all about like looking clean and doing all this and that's why they, i mean so many people like to go to tokyo all the lights but yeah. also I that's why you never see an asian homeless person yeah exactly just, even ali wong said it in her special she talked about that like, you just don't see asian homeless people or who else did she say so there's only one here. guy that kind of roams around in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He in covers Korea a town. lot of ground for being on foot. I don't know. You know, like, you know that that one dude actually gets more like more people go up to him. Like a lot of Koreans. We live in Korea town. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but a lot of Korean people I've seen gone up to him and just been like, hey, "Here you go," and they'll talk to him for a second, almost trying to figure out what happened yeah. so mm-hmm. that they can actually help him. And it's very interesting how the, how close they are as a community to yeah. even just like once one you know dilutes from the from the back and they're like. What's going on, bro? How can we get you back to, you know, being a good member of society? And I think that's so cool. And I mean, I don't know what they were saying. The guy could have been cursing him out. But, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm assuming like, the you best. speak Korean? Yeah, yeah. It's like the best situation is coming from it. Because I, I, I've seen him like two, three times, but I stopped seeing him recently. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he got his, got his act saved. together. Yeah. yeah. All right. Shout outs to former Asian homeless guy. Yeah. Hey, whatever your name is. Yeah. We got the number back down to zero. 
Have That's you, <laughs> in Korea town. In Korea town. In Korea town. There's a there's a lot of there's yeah. a lot of homeless around here. I've I've, I've oh it's walked... getting worse here. It's way worse than it used to be in yeah. LA, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. A lot of people are just flat out getting priced out. Mm. That's a problem. Like my friends are at the age where they're buying houses, and I look at them, I go, I'm sorry. What? Like I, I will n- <laughs> me a mortgage? I don't think so. Yeah. Me a mortgage? I can't afford no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know. no. But uh, <laughs> the what was I gonna say? Uh, it's four twenty. No, I'm just kidding. Is uh, it? It is four twenty. Oh my god, we should uh, partake. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh man, after. we should have been prepared. Yeah. Yeah. prepared. <laughs> oh my uh, god, missed opportunity. <laughs> no. Uh, no, man. I'm just but what you were saying was very, very funny. I, I really like that. You should write that down. Well, I don't remember what it was now. <laughs> we, Which we, one? Um, the the. Hmm. Mm. Good question. Mm. Oh, we'll listen mortgage. to it again. Yeah, they all, we'll it's listen recorded, back. It so is we'll recorded. Just listen to it. Yeah, yeah, we'll it listen to it. The we'll power of recording it. You know, I actually recorded my conversations for a sec. Get like, out of here. Just because I, I was just interested to hear. That's what, creepy. No, no, I'm no. just kidding. It, it was for, it was, it was for, for, for science. Really. Get out of here. <laughs> See, I told you she said she science. liked me. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, I was writing down ideas and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, jokes yeah, and stuff. And so like me and Willie have this whole conversation where we talk about parking tickets. And it's just how the government really just fucked says all the time like oh you park here boom here's 70 dollars you know or it could range even more mm-hmm. and so we're just shitting on parking tickets the whole time but it was such a great like when i when i remember i we, we it was a uh, echo park rising it's this yeah. event that happens here but like we were we were drunk and we were just like walking around and we, i was just like we just started talking about it. i was like record but then do you listen back and then you're like i thought it was funny at the time yeah. has that ever happened because i've done that i've looked at notes and been like what? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I write down a lot of notes and like Me too. I would, I would yeah. say like ninety percent of them are pretty good and like solid. Wow. And then like the ten percent is just kind of like needs fixing. Jerry Seinfeld says it's the other way around. He's well, like Jerry what? Seinfeld's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jerry, you went from Jerry, loving to him to being like he so performs. He's awesome. You suck, yeah. Jerry. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, you terrible. Yeah. No, just I, I actually the, it films in like middle america in ohio or something like that his oh, show yeah. no it's like vermont no i don't remember but it doesn't film middle in la america. and i thought i thought jerry middle, we all have the same image when you think of middle america oh, I've, been, I've been to i've lived in middle america oh for, yeah really? yeah i went to college out there where did, where? Where did you go to college university of kansas kansas oh, snap. Mm-hmm. Well, that was, you guys was that have like? the fat coach Yes, uh, yeah. the football coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mangino. Mangini. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which one is it? I heard Mangino and Mangini. Oh, Mangini. Mangini? Oh. Mangianos. Uh, <laughs> That's how he got so fat. <laughs> yeah, he got so fat because he was eating Mangianos. <laughs> yes, the Mangianos <laughs> caught up. Mangini. Mangianos. Can you blame the guy? The freaking Alfredo's yeah. pristine. Oh my gosh, dude, we gotta uh, go back. We so we went to Mangianos. <sighs> Like in, uh, uh, it's, it's been, been so December. long. Now. It's we went this. Oh well, no, we went before. We went in November, and the first time we went, and yeah. we met this. Sh- we like we we were absolutely like, and the food was amazing. Yeah, like it was the best time I've ever eaten Italian food, and it was just like blew my mind. You? Like yeah. it was so good. So I, I had Olive Garden last night. <laughs> it, it just it just I, I used to be an Olive Garden guy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I used salad, breadstick, soup, unlimited. Come I on. used to be, but what? now the soup is unlimited. Too? Yeah, the the, yeah. the soup is I've good. Never I didn't have the soup. I always it's had like a salad. I, I, I can't. I can't shit on Olive Garden oh, okay. because I used to really like it. You just so. shit after Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you do that after eating anywhere endlessly, so it's like, just like the breadsticks and salad. Well, yeah. no, you just you Chipotle just... three step process. My friends and I have that. Oh. You eat Chipotle, you take a fat shit, and then you take a nap. Yeah, it's so sounds heavy. Uh, yeah, why? sounds about right. Yeah, process. So, this. I, I, I always think about the fact that it's like you you have a room in your house devoted just to for your pee and poop, like. Everywhere you go, it's like you have a, to have one. But That's in America, class. in America, yeah. it's com- like it's different. We Good. share the room for bathing and shitting. In other countries, especially in London, they have the toilet, like the loo, which oh, is yeah. the closet where it's just the toilet, and then you go out, and then there's the bathroom. I think which that's is a very a better, better setup because then you're not yeah. getting the poop particles zip in your in your toothbrush. Yeah, and yeah, and your toothbrush. That's why I keep my beard. toothbrush in my yeah. in my room. Do you? Yeah. You get like a, ca- a cap for it. Yeah, but I just like don't trust it. Like it's particles. It can get under that little cap. You know mm. what's on your phone? Shit particles. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, there's shit particles of on course. your phone. Of course, but I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's phone shit is? particles everywhere, you know? You probably like masturbate and touch your phone, exactly. you know? Well, you know. <laughs> I, 
You, you, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I stepped out of the conversation for one second, and you guys got into some weird stuff. <laughs> you know, you know. Oh my god, Comes that was the classic. You I know. Like, people, my friends, like, you watch porn on your phone. Like, don't you use your laptop? I said, no, <laughs> no, Who no. But then I, I mean, forget to use the incognito tab. And then one time I was out with friends and I said, oh, I'll search something. And I pulled up my Google and then the porn started playing. Uh, I, I was like, oopsie. You got to exit the browser yeah, after. Yeah, you do. Hey, what do you, what do you think of this um, Obama Netflix contract? Like they're getting this huge 50 mil from Netflix now to develop shows. Oh, you, speaking of orgasms, on Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm curious. We haven't talked about it. That's why. <laughs> Well, I, I'm curious to know what you're. Do you know anything about it? You don't know anything about it. Okay, no, so I've been like on summer break because I work in education. I've just mm. been not paying attention. Yeah, like, I've just been like veg out. Yeah, I've been watching Handmaid's Tale. I've never watched it. What, what yeah. Is, okay. Before we get into this other stuff, what is that show about? <gasps> I, yeah, I keep really, hearing about oh it. Oh my god, it's so good. So it's based off a book. I think this woman wrote it in like the 80s or it's like It's a early Hulu 90s. original, right? Yeah, but it's so Sorry. good. Okay. I mean, basically, there's a lot of flashbacks that happen, but it's. What I've seen so far, I've only watched four episodes, is that they, the government has like said women can't work anymore. It's just a very controlled government, which it's kind of like, oh, this is what it could be like. Yeah. And there are some women who have been deemed whores, you know, either they were adulterers oh. or a lesbian, and they are, high, and, but they're fertile because infertility has been, become a problem in America. Mm -hmm. So they use them, they're called handmaids, and basically they just, the master of the house has sex with them to impregnate them oh, wow. and then they have the baby and then the baby is given to the family and they're just basically baby slaves <gasps> so but there's like more wow. to it you know so so they they is there, make is there the any of the handmaids that are trying to break so out? all the butlers but, and yeah. stuff that you think about in old castles were really just handmade children a lot yeah or like there's also like there's all these women have different roles in the house. So one is, you know, the cook and then there's the handmaid. And then there's all these women who are called aunties or aunts or something like Aunt Elizabeth is one. And they're the mean women who do the brainwashing and like whip them into play. You know, it's no oh, wow. yeah. this show sounds very crazy. It's good. It's is dark, it, but it's good. Oh, it's so it's like a dark good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My favorite. I love it. I love like dark stuff to watch like <laughs> murder and. No, I love I murder. Oh <laughs> man, if you love murder, you should check out um what's the name of that? It's a Netflix original uh The Killer Speaks. It's, it's in that realm, but it's the one about the pizza man who got the pizza bombed. Man. Yeah. What? Uh I know, I'm like uh it was he a murderer? Oh, it's called Did he kill you with sodium? Evil Genius. Evil Genius. Yeah. yeah. I've heard of it, but I don't know. Oh, I've never heard okay, of it. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, never... it's solid. So, like, I heard about the news story originally when, like, years and years ago. And I was like, holy crap, that's messed up. Like, mm -hmm. poor pizza guy. And then, like, this, they just dropped this documentary that shows all the details on the case. And then, you know, this woman who is a whole, in, like, she's kind of central to the whole plot. And it's, it's just bonkers. You all right. I really... I, I, Anything about I cults the or murder thing. I like, like it's a four parter. Okay, all I gotta yeah. say is you did a piss poor job of describing that show. <laughs> well, I, I, I was like, I feel like I have to watch it. I got it. nothing out of that. You I were know. like, there's a pizza man and there's a woman. She's centralized to the that's whole story. That's literally why. Like, that's what? literally but, why I don't want well, to give okay, you. So it's like called. Nothing. It's called. But that made me want to watch it exactly. now because I know nothing about it. Exactly. <laughs> See, when he explains things, he spoils it in the no. process. And I'm like, oh, no, I, well, I want, I want the people to I got two tell, ends of the spectrum. Like, I, yeah, I only yeah. tell people enough to where they're intrigued. You know, mm. I don't want to Mystery. Too, a exactly. little mystery. I'm all about the mystery. Yeah. Yeah. When that man told me, add mystery, I said, all right, I'll do We're it. Full circle all day circle today. All day today. <laughs> yeah. Well, was that an echo? That was. That was, was that, so weird, right? It was like, woong, woong. I heard me. That was a wah, 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 wah. Like that. Da -da. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, are you? Have you ever seen? Um, wait, before I ask you yeah. that, before I ask you what you've seen, okay, I don't want to know. Cover your eyes. Cover your oh, eyes. you're gonna sh you're gonna show me. I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm just in a living room covering my eyes. I'm ready for my me too right, moment. Really know that she's <laughs> 
God, no. <laughs> That's terrible. I was just going to try I to know. get you out of the... Uh, hey, Willie, uh, can I ask you something? Yeah. You know what time is it? What time is it? It's time to ask Lizzie. Yeah. Lizzie, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Open your eyes. What do you see? What? What do you see? What do I see? Something different? Yeah. What's different? You're lower in the <laughs> chair? What <laughs> happened? <laughs> Nothing I, happened. Really? Yeah. We wanted to waste your time for a second. No, don't don't include we in this. I have no <laughs> idea what the hell this is. I, I, I don't know. I, I wanted, I wanted, that was very trusting of me to cover my eyes. Exactly. And I yeah. hate doing that. Exactly. And I and I wanna I want I yes I, and the shit out of that. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I wanted to see I wanted to see how far you would go and in, in this yes and journey. And I, I honestly didn't want to do anything. I, and that's how it all starts. See, I, I said I was ready for my moment. Exactly. I wanted to see how far yeah. you and would exactly. go. But but I wanna just show just the tip. It's uh, yeah, but, that. but, but I wanna <laughs> show it's like it's so easy for people to to like tr- to trust you know and i and i'm the same way that's a problem i have though exactly it's a problem i've been told people tell me people you tell trust me too. too easily and that's like i fall really hard for people because i trust their intentions and yeah. i trust just in general too easily and my friends like you cannot do that dude you guys when i was younger i fucking traded i don't know what i bought drugs off this homeless guy mm. street what? but like he's like what i just get, i was i don't know i was having a moment in life he it was in a like I'm going to do a bad job explaining it. It was Oxy, which I've never done. Really? And it was, you could pop it out from the metal. So, yeah. you know, from the foil. So like, oh, this is like, he's oh, not the just. the blue ones. Yeah. Oh, like he's so not just what, selling so it. Once you, see, once you see the tin foil, you're like, this is legit. Yeah. Because it was like a sheet from a metal yeah. thing that you could pop out. Like how I pop my birth control out. And I don't know. It was a long time ago. And I said, okay. And my ex and I did it. Oh my God. I'll never do that ever again. Yeah. I do not like pills. Mm. I don't either. I do not. I've. Felt, we went to a bar and I felt like Earth was just the gravity was pulling me to the ground. Oh uh, damn, you're you in know? the sunken place. I was in the sunken damn. place. And you then black? we Yeah, a little bit. You, you see that booty? You see that booty? Damn girl. And then I uh, I call it the womp booty. Womp. You know why? Womp. Not like womp. swamp, like womp. Yeah, like Because that bass drop, go womp, 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 <laughs> that booty, womp, 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 womp. <laughs> But no, my oh, we were shit. so high and like passed out on the couch after putting chicken wings in the oven and then woke up to a burning smell. Oh, damn. And we had overcooked them so much because we passed out. Oh, but we were wow. so fucked up that we just poured sauce on it and tore apart these dry ass chicken what? wings. <laughs> See, I am black. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <kidding. laughs> I was yeah, like, man. I'm never doing this ever again. I, I, I think the opioid crisis is is probably like should be a focus all the time. Oh my God, but it, yeah. the fact that it never is and you, you speak of it like it's like so easy to get things these days. It's so e- I mean, it's so easy to get any type of drug, really. Like hey, if you really, really? Want to where find do it, I find cocaine? Exactly. <laughs> I'm yeah. just kidding. Where do you, well, it's like if you really want to find it, you'll find it. You know, it's like the, the problem is people get people need to learn how to control themselves you know someone offered me drugs the other day actually unsolicited mind you mm. really yeah That's I, was, I was doing my job my day job and uh long story short i <laughs> the guy goes uh if you ever want if you're ever back in the neighborhood i do detailing like i'll detail your car um oh and i'll also give you whatever you need for your arm there and then he just like closes what the door, the and I'm like, uh, "Okay, <laughs> is my arm still? Are you? Is your arm still in pain? No." Then your answer is, "I don't know what I need for my arm, so why don't you give me a few samples, I know, right. and then I'll decide." Uh, give See, me that's a, that Jewish um, brain. That's that Jewish brain samples. right there. That's, See, that's good. That's skills. Yeah, you're exercising your uh, your right. Yeah, yeah, because it's like I need to know what this if it's good shit. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, seriously. I mean, I'm, I know. It's like, am I a consumer or not? Exactly. I did not know how many people in the city do partake in drugs. Like I grew up here, people. and I didn't really know that. And then I was my 19th birthday. This guy offered me Coke. And I said, no, I've never done that. He goes, what? Everybody in L.A. does it. Like, Mm, what? And as I've gotten older, I've noticed even like a lot of people still do it. And even into their 40s and 50s, they are doing it Mm -hmm. regularly. And that's scary. I see like crew members on set. Oh yeah, fifty-year-old <laughs> like men taking bumps. All yeah, day. Well, well, they were doing it in the eighties, well, yeah, like as yeah, part exactly. of like the job. Can't My friend's stop. a cameraman, and he's like in the eighties because you know the camera has that black 
you know, yeah. those black side things. He goes, they would just have Coke lined up above it and then like lower the camera and just <laughs> snort it off and then like, <laughs> well, like raise the camera. Yeah. That's what? Tight. Is yeah. that just because they were like, let's just make this movie amazing? But well, you know, I literally hours, believe the it. The hours you're working, right? When it's yeah. like long ass hours. It's super long. Plus, you know, where are you going to go? What you gonna do? Exactly. You're that's the and that's my biggest that's somehow, my biggest thing about life. You know, I feel like you get into a, uh, uh, some sort of profession that you're like, I wanted to be here, and then what if someone does make you, you know, you trust them and they 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 use you in the way and jerk off in front of you. Jerk off yeah. Of you. yeah. What? Yeah. How are you placed in a position? You're right. It's like. I, what do I do? It's like right. this is what I've worked for my whole life. Yeah, you, you know? just it's have like, to let it happen and have the experience, and then be like, okay, and now I have to deal with the experience. Right, or like that's like when you're undercover, because like I do that all the time, and then someone's like, oh, I don't trust you unless you try these drugs. You're not gonna say no. It's against my morals. You're yeah. gonna do it. It's true. If you're undercover, if you're undercover. You have to. You right. You have to. Yeah, that's very I, true. Who the fuck? Is undercover like what kind of job is that? Is crazy to me. It is crazy. People are walking around, even in relationships, and just lying to their partner because they have to. They have to. Mm. I got recruited by the CIA. What? It was weird. This guy was like, I was selling this car on Craigslist, and (laughs) so it was a Craigslist CIA outreach. (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Like, I literally, well, I sold the car to this woman, but she brought this guy with her. To be her protection, I guess. Her and, CIA agent. <laughs> yeah. And then he is like, yeah, what do you do? And I'm like, yeah, I'm in entertainment, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, okay. Well, I was like CIA director for a little bit. Like, not like the head director, but like of some division. And uh, This guy sounds like, like a liar. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, he was pretty like official because he gave me like some info. And then like, he was like, yeah, we w- people you see all the time, like on set are like actually agents and like. They're just there to find something bigger. And I, I, I could believe that. Yeah. Because I've worked on some productions where people won't say anything about themselves. No, like, it's like, who who are you? Where you're did acting you come very, from? very quiet, It's Tom. because mm. they don't have a backstory they to don't. tell you how they got in that position. Well, if you're a good agent, you should have a backstory. You should. If you're That's good. That's right. If you're good. If you, the best agents, I think, would be would be the greatest actors. You know? The ones yeah. that are low-key enough. Like, you don't want a Leonardo DiCaprio because you'll be like, Leonardo, I know who you are. Yeah. Like, exactly. don't try to pull shit on me. You, you're Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, but that's the thing. I have a great no, you, story. you get them young when they're unknown, and then you progress them through the ranks. Right, that's how brainwashing works. Too. Yeah, that's how brainwashing. Uh, works. Leo and I went to high school together, but he's no. older than me. Really? Yeah. So we went to the same high school, and there was this one teacher who thought she made him like who he was because she was the drama teacher. And I was like, "Bitch, no, you geez, didn't." Geez. And she would talk about it all the time. So I ran into Leonardo DiCaprio on the street on Melrose when there used to be a Pinkberry, uh-huh. yeah. and I. I have no problem talking to celebrities. Like, I don't mm, care. Me neither. Yeah. You know, like, you're a person. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I go up to him. I was like, hey, like, we both went to the same high school. Go unicorns. That was our mascot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's how you know. Because yeah. if anybody else rolls up and be like, hey, go bears, he's like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah. That's the like, unicorns, bitch. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, we went to the same high school. Miss, remember Miss Stringo? And, she, and I kept talking. And he looks at me mm. all quiet and goes, and he, he points to his ear, and then I look, and there's an earpiece hanging, and he was on the phone. And I felt like such an asshole. Uh. But then he went, he pointed his finger at me and said, one second, like he mouthed one second, you know? And I fucking stood there and waited for him to get off the phone. They got off the phone, and I just kind of kept talking, and he looked at me and went, uh-huh, and then turned around and walked away. Oh. <sighs> I know. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Leonardo hey, DiCaprio my, would be. I, I met my hero. I met Joni. I met Joan. Oh yeah, yeah that's that true. was. That's I mean, true. I don't. I, I people always say that, and I, I admire a lot of the people who work in Hollywood right now. I do. I admire a lot of them because a lot of them have worked hard, and a lot of them did, you know, go up from nothing to actually, you know, being noticed. But mm. there's a couple in there who just got given stuff. But that's just. It's just the reality of it. Me me saying something against it is not going to change that. You mm-hmm. know, you can't just troll people into changing their lives. It's never going to work. Hollywood's you know? different now, though. Yeah. Like to me, it's like if you don't have enough followers, they're not going to cast you. It's a problem. That's, that mm. is that is the part that is really stupid. It's like oh, so it's not based on talent. Like my yeah. friend auditioned to be Jasmine for the new Aladdin remake, like really? the live action, and she got pretty far. And they ended up 
choose and my friend is egyptian like she is wow. egyptian and gorgeous and i showed her picture to a casting friend of mine said oh she should have been jasmine yeah. but they cast a girl who's half indian half white who is a power ranger and has uh, more followers wow well of course you know kevin hart recently i heard him arguing a point to where like he charges for his his social media following if you want him to promote or engage anything there you have to pay him even if he's promoting something that he's already working in mm-hmm. he considers his social media to be his own personal life yeah. apart from kevin hart the inner the, yeah. yeah. the brand and so if you if he's promoting central intelligence if he's talking about central intelligence on his social media he also got paid for that yeah. yeah. Well, Kim Which Kardashian, is like, I think it was like five million or ten million for like one ad on her Instagram. Yeah. But Ugh. the problem is, he was saying like they expect Ugh. you to just so promote it on those platforms, anyways. Exactly. Even, because no, they're all paid partnerships. Attached. When you when you have yeah. a celebrity or an influencer talking about things, it's they're always paid. Yeah. yeah always. But I, I get that. But I mean, like in the capacity where it's like you worked in this movie, so now you need to go and talk about it on your almost timeline. like mm. he, they're saying like that's like, included in your press exactly. Tour. And it's he's just, like. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, that's not. It's like, no, that's not my press tour. My yeah. press tour is Letterman, and I'm yeah, like, he's like, this is my wow. life. So if you I want love. me to talk about it, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm on board with on. that. But my Instagram is, is my life. Yeah, which exactly. is he charging? You know, because yeah. is it bad that I still call the Tonight Show Letterman? No. Oh, is that sorry. what you meant? Oh, yeah. No, sorry. Letterman. Ah. Letterman. It was never the Tonight Show, though. But he has that new show. Uh, uh, no, no, he was. Wait, it was. He was late night with Letterman. Yeah, well now he has my next guest. Yeah, the Tonight Show is Leno. Mm-hmm, the Tonight that was Leno, Leno, and then it was now it's Fallon. Now it's Fallon, and then before that was Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. You know, I actually was I, I when I worked with Blizzard for a second. Don't I, say you met Johnny Carson. Blizzard. No, <laughs> I worked I worked inside his offices in Johnny, Johnny Carson's uh-huh. office. That's like, cool. I sat in there and That's I was like, just like that was my I was their their wardrobe stylist for for like a quick sec for Overwatch. What? And I literally was just there and they we did a whole tournament and I was just my whole home base was in Johnny Carson's. Did you old interview office. yourself in there? You no, I actually like... wrote wrote like the 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 beginning portion of a pilot I'm writing and it's so fucking good. I was like, ah, oh, like the amazing. energy. Uh, and I was him. just like I was just like saying it out loud. I was like, hey Joe, Johnny, if you want to help me out. Like, yeah. There you go. Just my way. Reach <laughs> out. Just channeling and this guy. The, the crazy there's thing like, is, lights candles the, and there's yeah. like a full on someone walks in like, Are you seancing? Yeah, the, right. The crazy thing is you channel um, Johnny Cash and he in his office. Right. He, he has a restroom and in his restroom he has a secret out outdoor tunnel that mm-hmm. leads into the hallway so his receptionist would be outside in the front area and someone would say hey where's johnny can we see him and she would buzz a button and it would say hey someone's trying to see you so you got to get out and he would just come out through the side door and that's then, the way and to do him. it and he they'd be like what the heck and then he'd be like what's up guys and then they're just like so confused he'd never let like people in his office it was really interesting that's hilarious and, and it was like this whole thing and this 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 one worker there told me that when Jay Leno was doing the Tonight Show, every single night he would he he also had his office down there for a little bit, and he would come down and he would turn the lights on and off, um, and it would turn the lights off on the whole um, level, mm-hmm. so everybody working there would know, and that would mean that he's he was about to do the show. So it was like his tradition of like mm-hmm. turning the light switch on and off mm-hmm. to signal everybody like, hey, I'm about to go do the monologue. And I thought that was, and the guy was like telling me the story. This worker who had worked there for he was like this old dude. He'd been working there since Johnny Carson, and I was oh. like, your story. Your experiences, the things you've seen, are literally so treasured. And the did fact he write that a you, book? He should write a book. I, yeah. I I wanted to talk to him more, but he he was really busy. And like the fact that he even gave me this one gem of a story, I was like yeah. blown away. I was yeah. just like the 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 fact that you live that, and now you're telling me that this all happened here, and I'm here, and not a lot of people can get here. It's it, once again, That's it's one of those one moments of those where moments. I'm like, yeah. I experience these things, and I'm just like, it's like you're meant to be else. there at that time. Well, yeah. Oh. Now, I mean, that's. I, it's kind of weird that you said that because that's kind of like it, that used to be where the value in the elderly was like exactly. learning shit that you would never have known right prior but now that we have like the internet pictures <laughs> and the internet and we can like preserve memories it's like we don't need we know we don't we need old Google people it. we let's, don't need the elderly but let's then, lock them away but, but then think about <laughs> shady pines think about, think, about, think about this the he's the only one aside from another dude they're both really old they've been working there their whole lives they're the only two people who know these yeah. stories 
Damn. They're the only never. They the guy told me he's like we've never been interviewed. We've never talked to people about this. He's like the only reason I told you is because you asked. Oh damn! And I was like, that's mm, pretty. Damn! Lucky. Someone should ask more questions. Know, right? That's you what don't I tell ask, people. You don't get. Get. If someone's gems. experienced life, like mm-hmm. we should be asking the elderly, like, hey, I've, based on all the ex- things you've experienced, what can what would you say are your like your top five lessons? You know, or like the I, keys to life. We I always agree. we we never focus on them, and I'm like they they've lived the longest. They've experienced the most. I know. It's like, that's why I, but a I lot of elderly say, people, not a lot. I mean, not all, but a lot have a like tinge of racism and like yeah, some of yeah, homophobia. And it's like hard with the way the generation is changing is, yeah, for changed. people to be like, I can talk to you about the, like, you can't talk to them about these things. No, like I can't. can't talk to my dad about politics at all. Like I can't, I can't. No, no. to me, the I, elderly I, I are primarily good for memories. Yeah. Like, just tell me how it was. I mean, I don't want your opinion on things. Yeah, just, just what was it like? What was it like? Mm-hmm. Unbiased. Tell me about the 60s. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that. Like, <laughs> I, I, tell me uh, the sexual revolution. Yeah. 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 Tell, tell me what, what it was really like. What happened with that? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, we're having were a. Were booty a, holes a, big then, too? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, we're in a sexual revolution currently. I think totally. I feel oh my God. like we're, we're embracing it. Like, we're becoming totally European over here. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. We're almost there. We're not We're not there yet. I think eventually no, we'll have a new beach. That's, That's what I'm saying. We don't free. have nude beaches. There wasn't. There is one in San Diego. Really? There's a nude beach. I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. And we can't exclude people based on their gender here without risk of litigation. Right, right, right. Like when I was in <laughs> Amsterdam a little bit ago, I went with my girlfriend at the time and and my buddy Jason, and they would only let Jason and I in, but they were like, "No, she can't come." Into in. where? Why? Because we she had to pee. So we were like, hey, can we go in this bar? And the, the guy was like, no, you can't come in. You guys can come in. Maybe it was like a. It was a gay bar. And it was oh, underwear night. Oh, it was a gay night. bar. Okay, yeah. Underwear night. It was and underwear you guys chose night. that bar? It was freaking like 30 <laughs> degrees and raining. Well, and granted, you're over night. there with your girlfriend. And there's so. like dudes arriving in trench coats and stuff. Ooh, that's and like, hilarious. Yeah, it's like, holy crap. Like, sorry. You gotta... I love Amsterdam. <laughs> I've never been. But oh, I, I love I that city. Yeah. Amsterdam's freaking amazing. Yeah. I just love how chill everyone is. And it's really free. I believe it. I believe it. Just good vibes. It's the weed capital of the world. Like, but even besides, besides that, it's just beautiful. That, yeah, because that's all. That's isolated to like one part. One part. Yeah. No. Really. Yeah. Interesting. Well, Lights so Plaza like, is like where the bulldog. Um, cafe. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, Excuse so me. Yeah, I didn't no, eat lunch yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? what? It's, I had like a late breakfast. Here. Have some of those what? blueberry squares. All the blueberry there. square. Be right back. Yeah. 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 Hit that up. But it's um, kind of good. how was when did you go to Amsterdam? Uh, this was at the beginning of 2016, so two years ago. Oh snap! Mm. Look, we all got two years ago. We need to update our travel. I'm going. Sorry for eating. I'm going to no, it's London. Cool. It's ASMR videos. What? You ever heard of that in ASMR? So it's like protects the p- p- and the. What do you mean? Oh, no, like <laughs> on, so. There's like this whole <laughs> thing going on right now where it's. They call them ASMR videos and like audio sensory something. Mm-hmm. But like people just eat food into the microphone. Really? Oh, but then and there's like, people who have that thing where they hate the sound of chewing. He's a pop yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going or to like London. you can like whisper what? and stuff. Whisper. Hello. Yeah, that's I'm going nice. to, wi- I'm going to whisper. I'm going to London on the 10th of June. London's tight. Mm-hmm. They're reckless over there. I like it. My mom's from there, so I'm visiting my cousin who has a oh, flat, wow. and we're gonna hang out, and then we're gonna go to some Rock of Gibraltar and like maybe some parts of Spain, and then I'm doing a show in London too. My first international oh, show. Wow. Oh, yeah, international superstar. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Oh, I'm so snap. excited. That's dope. How'd you? Look how'd out. that come about? I have this comedian friend Emma Pine. Shout out Emma. Emma. Whoop, whoop, I've done whoop. her show, um, Simple Things. There's that bar. Mm-hmm. Um in the valley and she went to london and did a show there and i saw she posted and this is where social media is great and i reached out and said hey i'm going to london my cousin really wants to see me perform could you send me the name of the booker yeah and she told him i've done her show and i'm funny and i sent him a clip and i'm doing a show oh heck yeah Yeah. that's pretty Mm -hmm. dope yeah yeah that's that's what's called working for i know right totally you're hustling that's it for the year, though. <laughs> <laughs> now I take my hibernation. No. One night only. No, don't no. miss it. One night it. only. Yep, don't. Well, hey, we... Uh, I'm doing a show here June 8th. June 8th? 
come. Yeah. yeah. Where is it at? You know what used to be Happy Endings? Remember that bar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's there. Okay. Oh, it used to be Acapulco before that. Mm-hmm. It's called, oh my God, Sycamore Tavern. Sycamore, Sycamore Tavern. Tavern. Yeah. Tight. Check out. Okay. It was a chill spot. June I 6th. liked it. It had like June air pong June and that giant wheel and mm-hmm. stuff. When I played kickball, that was like our after party spot. Oh, snap. I was like, it fills and smells like a frat house. Yeah, like, it, it does. Like a frat. There's beer vibes. on the floor, like sticky floor. I can just go there, sit on a stool, watch mm-hmm. some sports on the TV. Yeah. Did you play football? I feel like you. Uh, I, I played football in high school. Okay, because you knew about the coach, and I was like, you know, Mangianos. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, Mangianos. Uh, just goes in that yeah has- i just love pasta that's all i love all food someone asked me what's my favorite <laughs> food group and i said buffet <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth yo that's where's good the good buffets in la uh that's there's not question. like yeah that's- i don't think hometown's great oh soup plantation duh that is like my favorite yeah. well aren't they gone now <gasps> no there's one at the beverly connection there's one I in brentwood they went out of business. beverly connection so far though it's still going Mm-hmm. It's not that far from here. So it's like they four miles. To everyone. How long is that? Drive Forty business. minutes. Genius. No, oh my god, like twenty. Twenty. Twenty minutes. No, not even. But you're in Koreatown. You have good food here. Yeah, we have good food in Koreatown. Nah. Really? <laughs> you depends. don't like Korean food? Well, I'm just so it over it. I've been living here for like in this house. I've been here for like going on four years yeah so you're just like no more bulgogi yeah i'm like bulgogi it out I'm like, plus it's bad for your digestion oh my god i was eating so much korean barbecue at one year of my life and i went to the yeah. doctor and he went um your sodium levels kind of like your cholesterol is kind of high <laughs> I'm like what i'm like oh i've been eating a lot of korean barbecue so i stopped <laughs> yeah. and he was like your levels are great yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. see it's it's just so much salt in the meat and I mean, it's delicious, but you're eating so much meat and not anything else to go on top of it. Sounds like my last Friday. (laughs) 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 Full circle from (laughs) earlier. Yeah, but, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's bad for your health, man. Yeah, I Mm, I, I personally, I I enjoy it, like, every once in a while. We go every, I think we go every, like, four months. Everything in moderation, right? Everything. Even moderation. Moderation, moderation. Yeah. Moderation, moderation. Sometimes moderation, moderation. Reckless. Moderation changed the nation. Yeah. Oh. oh. With lots of anticipation. Hey. Hey. And then you have a problem you. with chronic masturbation. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right. I, like I mean, I don't like that. Are, are you okay? Are you sound like you got strong ass constipation. Oh, she keeps it going. She keeps it going. She keeps it going. I love it. Lizzie. Uh, all, all night, folks. All night, <laughs> Lizzie. I'm ridiculous. You have been a pleasure to have on. Oh, this yeah. was so Hell much yeah. fun, you guys. This has, been a, this has just been a hoot. I think I it know. definitely uh, has still. blown the other stuff out of proportion. Thank you. So, it's maybe still should... great stuff, but this has just been a really good episode. Thank you. So when I start yeah. my podcast eventually, yeah. What if I called it Straight to Bed with Lizzie Weissman? Oh, you like that? Straight to That's Bed. Straight. Ooh, uh, is, I, is it being born? Are we? Are we? Are we both? Because I thought about today, I was like, "What would I name it?" And guys, this that is patented. All right, it's already out there. <laughs> Nobody can take that. That is Don't mine. Don't take it. Don't take um, it. I like that. You like that? I I, yeah. I want to know more about it. That's Once the, you get that's the Twitter handle, then it's official. Then it's official. Yeah. All right, I'll just do it right now, office. and then yeah. I'll be like, "Nobody will know." No so then we talk about me getting on Twitter. So yeah, you got to you got to start claiming all the social medias. Uh, yeah. ours is on on Instagram. We're clear the haze, mm-hmm. yes. and then Twitter and Facebook. We're clear the haze pod because yes. someone already had clear the haze but we got instagram yeah. which i'm happy about because yeah. i'm like that's the one most people look at just like somebody has my name on instagram so i really? have to put an underscore oh underscores it does hurt but it's fine do you leave hateful comments under pictures no but i did write her and i was like hey i'm a comedian and oh, i really and i like wrote her and asked her because she has like 17 posts and you yeah. have a family like what are you doing yeah. <laughs> like, come on <laughs> Um, my Instagram, in case anyone out there would like to follow me, yes. that's where I do most of my posts is through Instagram. I like to do stories as well. Right. Yes. Uh, so I'm Lizzie underscore Weissman. So it's, I have to spell it, which is so lame. L I Z Z Y, because okay. I can, with yeah. an underscore and then Weissman, W E I S M A N. Not two S's. Mm. Most Jewish people do have two S's in their last name when it's Weissman. <laughs> Not me, because I don't associate myself with the SS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's 
a that's a smart joke. I like that. that I like that. That, that was a really good. That was a good build up and a great punchline. Yes, uh, yeah. but we'll, Thank we'll, you. We'll tag, I forgot about doing that one on stage. I'll bring it back. Yeah, we'll, we'll tag that one. Uh, we'll tag your Instagram yeah. on, yeah, our, on, you. our, on our description so people can click on it and follow Such you. Such a rule breaking. We should take name. a picture and I'll post it. Yeah, we'll yeah. take a picture and we'll do all that stuff yeah. afterwards. Um, but it's been a, it's been a really fun time having you. We will probably ask you to come back whenever you want. I love that. Want. Um, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. When, whenever you're ready. She's like, let's come on next week. And I was like, like, what you doing? Yeah. I'm on summer break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's summertime. Let's do it. Yeah. But uh, it's been it's been a pleasure. We're excited to see where your journey goes next thank you oh man it you're sounds like gonna you're just, poof, yeah. oh explode. thank you it sounds Through like you're, you're doing great things you're yeah. gonna be in london and yeah you're, you're gonna be performing there which is already yes. like that's and already a big accomplishment plug that show oh yeah my okay so it's at the oh my god camden's head mm-hmm. um number two i think so it's gonna be june 26 june so if you're in london june 26. check it out i'll post about it so follow me on instagram and yep. then i'll post about yes, it yes and that's lizzie underscore weisman, weisman yeah. Far don't one, confuse one her with that family lady yeah with the, 17 posts like, get off girl <laughs> get out of here get I, off and go live your life i've had, like, yeah, I've, I know, had right? I've had too many instances where people have the instagram handle and i'm just like ah, oh, i hate you you don't post anything i know it's the worst it's i was a, like because my full name is elizabeth yeah but i was like that's not me yeah i'm not You're elizabeth. No. I'm Liz. yeah. and then most of my life i've gone by liz mm-hmm. yeah and at first i was when i was doing stand-up i was just like liz weissman but i was like you know my really good friends who know me the best and who see the silly like best sides of me when they feel like endearing toward me they go oh lizzie and i was uh, like that's just more me and i think yeah, it brings yeah. a lot of fun personality to the stage as well yeah, and does. just my life so yeah. i i think good call. I, th- I think she's gonna go really far i'm Thanks, calling it now guys. So uh, it, thank you so much for coming. Yes. We'll we'll hopefully hear from you. We'll hopefully be at your show. Yeah. Um and we'll just keep the conversation going. Totally. Here clear the haze. Peace. 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 <laughs>